a little bit about this game ahead. I went uh, 2 0 and 8. Now, granted, that's not just like, wow, I did anything great. But I never really tried to get kills with Zach. And I, I got, our team got really fed. So I was a little bit proud of this game. So, and again, again, in this lobby, I'm not in a call with anyone, I'm just solo queuing. So, Welcome to Summoner's Rift. like I talked about at the beginning of the last game, I, whenever I do Zack, I usually start at Raptors. So we're just actually going to fast forward a little bit. In Greece. So just demonstrating a little bit what goes, what goes on. I start the W. The unstable matter. Level up to two. Do the, uh, the separating strike, I believe is what it's called. Stretching strike. I'll do the stretching strike. I'll hit the red buff once and do the uh, do the Q what I call the Q cheese, where if you hit two things together, you'll get an extra blob of health to come back out because of Zach's passive. And I'll do this at least two or three times when I'm clearing the first red camp. I'll have red buff, go to Krogs. And because I've saved Smite, I'll use Smite on the big one. So maybe let's, let's, let's see what happens after... I see uh, top lanes pushed up pretty... Our top lanes pushed up pretty far. Vigor into the Teemo. So, no reason to gank it. I'm just going to go see if the Scuttle's available. The Herald Scuttle is available. There's no real reason for me to prioritize it other than just its experience to get. So, I grab the Scuttle. And because I'm still nearby... Oh, okay. Um, Shaco... Hits me with a vision light. So I know Shaco's in his blue side jungle. I hit mine back toward him. Just to see if he's nearby. And I hit the Quinn a little bit. I don't try to kill her here. I just want to scare her and do a ton of damage. And uh, because I have red buff. I know she's already half health. So I know I can get her close to death. But I don't try to kill her. I don't over pursue. Because I know Shaco is in his topside jungle. And I know I don't have that much vision nearby to help me out. To see if he tries to come into counter gank. So I just leave. I get her down pretty weak. Which forces this back. So. I've done that. I've already tried to. I've gotten a scuttle after my red side clear. And I ganked a lane. It didn't get a kill. But it forced it back. So, business as usual, go to blue side jungle, do my first clear of it. And right here, you see me, after I get wolves first, I start doing the uh, Q cheese with blue and gromp. So, I burn this, I use the smite on the gromp first, but I do a lot of prioritizing my basic attacks onto the blue. And I use my last smite on the uh, Grumpy, obviously. I hit my vision light right there to see where the vision is. And because I know Dragon Side Scuttle is available, honestly didn't expect it to be available because of the... I just kind of assumed that Shaco would have already had it. I go ahead and pick it up. Now, I throw a ward right here. It's kind of a useless ward because I've already got vision. I've already got the dragon scuttle vision. I could have saved that ward for somewhere else. But anyway, 
I see bot lanes fighting, so I go ahead and try to mess them up pretty good. Now, I kind of lose the tether onto the Kaisa right there. But it still scares them. And, uh... I believe the... The Swain is able to root the Morgana. So it helps them get a kill bot. So overall, I've ganked once. I've really ganked twice. But we've gotten a kill out of one of them. So that's good. I get a little bit of side lane experience and it puts me just... Shaco just got to level 5. And I'm pretty sure I got to level 5 off of that gank. So, go back in the jungle. I see my wolves are up. I just start wolves. I know dragon's up by this point. Or dragon has been up by this point, And we still hadn't got it yet. So I kind of want to prioritize a little bit of the bot side. I want to try to get a slay to set up us possibly getting dragon. So I walk into the tri bush. I want to declare out any vision they had. They just had like a, a normal, I guess, control. I see that they're pushed out pretty far right here. They, uh, they're both very low health. They had just killed our support. So I come in and get an easy gank. Easy gank for a double kill. And because I know that they'll come back pretty quickly, I'm going to try to see if I can help him get a plate off of this. Shaco comes in with a little, uh, with an attack right here. It was really, uh, that was really good on the Shaco's part. This Shaco jungle was not a bad Shaco at all. He was, he was a decent Shaco. I think he went like 11 and 5, so he was not bad. But every, literally, everyone else on his team fed. They died like eight times or more. Everyone else on his team fed hard. And I know I know that Shaco's nearby. So I just want to be able to uh I want to be able to secure that dragon scuttle. Because I know we may not necessarily start the fight on it right there. And we also chase the uh we chase the Shaco away because Shaco's super weak. I actually come in for a super, super greedy, greedy gank right there. It results in a lot of CC and it buys the, uh, it buys our ADC enough time to go in there and actually help secure a kill on the uh, support again. So I've ganked bot lane twice now in the first nine and a half minutes of the game and we've gotten two kills out of it. So that's very good for my jungle experience. I know our support's weak, so I try to stay relatively nearby to see if I can help them. I don't know why uh, Swain goes back down in there when he has very low health. He just had information that there were three people down here to kill his ADC. I don't know why he goes back down here, but he does. I guess he wants to get the lane experience, which he's playing a dangerous game doing. I see my blue side camps are up. Or I see, uh, I see my wolves are up. And I see that there is a push in our, in, in our mid lane with the Teemo. So I go try to clear out any vision first. And I see we have a lot of resources to commit. And what I wanted to do was tether him back to tether that Teemo back toward one of his own minions. But I barely missed the tether. It doesn't matter though because of the uh, Vigor ult I think he used. One of Vigor's abilities just eliminates the Teemo. He's been destroying Teemo all game. And unfortunately, the Shaco is able to come in there and clean up anyone on our team that has low health. He does this all game. Probably. I was thinking I was just low health, so I need to start attacking some camps to get some health back. 
So I'll just go and get blue. Cause I know my blue signs up. I also can look at bot lane and see that there are, they're kind of pushed up in bot lane. So we're pretty well off right now. I've only burned one passive this match, and that was from the uh, second gank and bot. I don't die any at this match at all. I go 6 0 and. No, 6 0 and 6? I think. No, 2 0 and 8. I go 2 0 and 8. I'm thinking uh, I'm getting it confused with the Trundle game from last match. But, uh. <laughs> I know red side jungles up, so I go for the clear on that. Have red back up. And we know we know dragons respawn. So I want to go back down here. I hit one of my vision lights so I can see if there's any vision to clear. Because I know Shaco went top. We're going to go ahead and start this dragon. Their jungler is not going to be there. We're going to get an easy dragon for free. I'm going to go ahead and start it. I'll be tanky enough to uh, start hitting it and heal myself. Swain does so much damage at this point that it doesn't matter. We get an easy dragon turn right here for the first dragon of the game. We literally actually don't take a single dragon until 13 seconds. Or 13 minutes into the game. Now, whenever we do this, Shaco just realized that we took... Uh, Shaco was not a bad jungler at all. We get the first Infernal Drake. He knows that I was down there on the bottom side. So, he and Teemo decide to get Harold. Very, very good trade in objectives for them. Even though we, we benefit more over it. But, that was a very good decision on his part. The Shaco, very good jungler. Okay, Shaco throws... Uh, Those Herald down in mid, and I'm there to react to that in time. So I stopped the Herald from even getting half of the turret down. So, in a way, I, prior I, I did a pretty big prioritization on trying to see if I can do my best to clear out the uh, usefulness of the Shaco's uh, Herald. I also see that there's a fighting bot, so I come to gank, and I tether... Uh, I come in just in time for the fight, slingshot in, I slingshot in, start the ult, start with the ult, and then we actually, I'm able to tether the support Morgana into one of her bot lane minions, and we do a good ton of damage to this turret. I actually kind of sit here and try to tank the damage on it, so that way we can finish that turret. And I'm still like... I'm kind of just so tanky and built at this point that I can probably take, like, two more shots of damage from that turret before I actually die. Or have to burn passive. I wouldn't have even died. I would have just burned passive. But I know that we've already gotten that turret down. And we pretty much just need to get away from that because they're going to try to converge on us. So I slingshot away. Get up pretty close to what is essentially under our own turret. And back or I, I think about backing and then I just realized I can do the cheese with I see that my blue and my grumpy are up so I just try to I just prioritize doing the cheese with this because I know I can get my health back especially because I still have some money. 
so I go in and clear camps. I go from being like a quarter health to going back up to half health. I see Scuttle's up and I know Dragon's gonna be up in like a minute. So I'm gonna go ahead and get Scuttle here. Plus it gives me some health back too. I actually burnt... <laughs> Weakest, weakest flash in the game. Weakest flash in the game. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's so funny. So I go in, I prioritize taking the aggro from the minions. Oh, this Shaco gets an absolute good deal. This Shaco was good. This Shaco was very good. I was surprised that he didn't counter jungle me. I was very surprised he didn't try to do it. I was I was very impressed impressed with the Shaco. Pretty sure I back right here, get more tanky, and then I prioritize immediately going toward Dragon. Maybe fight to set up the Dragon. Or fight, then set up the actual take. So we're just going to fast forward over to that. So we're down there. There's three of us. We're down here. And I kind of want to get us to drag the dragon out. We don't really do that. And the Shaco almost came in here just in time to steal it. I do a little bit more CC peel. And we're able to get more kills. And since my health is back up, I'm willing to do even more re-engage. Because we still we still have people alive. This Shaco. This Shaco was just nasty. Honestly, I had no idea Shaco was right there. Just, I legit had no idea. I try to prioritize getting the Morgana pretty weak enough to kill, but I had nothing to tether her to there. So, she actually just gets away. It was, uh, they, they did pretty good to get away with what they had right there. By 20 minutes in, we have over 10k gold lead. We have, a, we have an 11k gold lead, approximately. But we're also double their kills, and we have six turrets. So it's nice. By the time Baron spawns, we already have an 11k gold. So we're just, we're too strong. Shut down. As my job is Zach, I did exactly what I was supposed to. Everyone else in the lanes are technically carries. Because... Vigor's AP carry. The Zed is just whatever mid lane assassin he's supposed to be. He's a carry. Ca he's a carry character as well. Jin is obviously the AD carry, and Swain is technically playing support, but he is a AP heavy champion. He's not like a tank or anything. They're all. I'm the only tank on the team, so my job is to get them kills, kills, assists, whatever. We that's what we need to do. And literally everyone on my team got fed. And I didn't die. Trying to get everyone fed without dying is very difficult to do. But I managed to do that this time. Die in darkness. I actually try to scare right here with another gang. Or another uh, attack. I don't think we don't get the kill on that. But it was very scary for uh, Kaiza. I'm pretty sure Kaiza, Kaiza burns both of her abilities right there. Just to get away. So yes, we didn't get any kills out of my re-engage right there. But it didn't matter. As long as I make her burn uh, summoners. It's just something she can't use later. There are three of us that are like roughly half health or less and we kind of just decide that we want to leave. 
while Vigor goes in there and just wants to dominate the world. I was wanting to see if we needed to prioritize any uh, top lane push, but I saw where some of our minions were and I was just like, we're, we're already pushed up far enough. I see their blue side is up, so I take their blue. And honestly, oh, okay. I see they're chasing Vigor right here. So I come back in to help out the Vigor and I get Vigor another easy kill. So it's just like, okay, that's cool. We got a kill out of this, let's leave. But this Shaco does the Shaco things where all he does is clear out everyone on my team that's just one hit left. And it's just like, man, there's nothing I can do about this. He just he just annihilates everyone on my team except for me. Or like or at least gets picks off of me. It was very well played. So I kind of peel off from the fight right here. Or like the main fight on this Shaco. Because I'm, I'm just trying to bully this uh, Teemo into staying away from my team. And to keep, them, keep him from doing damage to my team. So that way he's just set off by himself. And whenever it's time, we're, uh, we're eventually able to get the kill on him. I was essentially just peeling, in a way I was peeling the Teemo away from the fight so that way he couldn't do damage to my team. That way it was everyone else on my team against like whoever's whoever's there at the time. That's worded, that's worded very poorly, but long story short, I made sure that the Teemo couldn't do damage to anyone. And whenever he tries to do damage to me, I'm just going to heal it back. Because I'm so fed. And Vigor just does a solo dragon thing, I guess. I don't know. He probably just Q farms it. Says, lol, you're mine. We clear out the blue side. Clear out the uh, top side. Lane farm. And we go. So, yeah, we got, uh, we just had a lot going for us. We see our, we see our mid laner and top laner are in their base, just screwing around, killing them, because everyone on my team's fed. And we pretty much just try to get in here. I try to get back in here so I can help our Vigor, even though Vigor literally doesn't need help. Now. Man, I really wonder what's happening. And they surrender. Because they just know everyone on my team is fed. And that they can't win it. Shaco did... Shaco tried so hard to win this game for his team. But... Every single person fed. So, uh, yes, I didn't have a fantastic game. Just 2-0-8. But I did my job to get literally everyone else on my team fed. Off of my eight assists and obviously the objective to play. And we ended the game with like a little bit over 13k gold lead.